Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back to another mini series. Today we are starting our beta seat save for Manchester United. What I really wanted to do, because I actually wanted to talk about Man United as in real life. The, you know, the stuff they're going through at the moment and the Ollie in, Ollie out, tactics, signings, all the stuff that's sort of currently going on with Man United. But bring it into Football Manager so not only can we discover the game together a bit more and the new features, but also have a chat about the real Man United, what's going wrong, look at what tactics they use, and using Football Manager, let's try and sign maybe a player. I can have a guess which position do you think I might strengthen with the transfer window. And just do one season and try and win the league, try and... Because Man United have got a really good squad. I know I'm a Liverpool fan. I'm taking my Liverpool hat off for this, right? Just factually, Man United have got a squad as good as anybody in the league, in my opinion. So let's see if we can win the league and do what Oli is never going to do and uh, talk about Man United. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. I don't really have an intro for the Man United save because it's only really a beta save and it would take too long to make an intro for it. So this will have to do. Boop -boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. So, here we are, Manchester United, sorry, Manchester UFC, if you don't know. Manchester United tried to sue Football Manager for using their name or get them to pay extortionate amounts, and Football Manager were like, nah, and they were like, mm, and they were like, okay, we'll just call it Manchester UFC. Um, so, we've taken over from Mr. Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. He is not at the wheel. It is driverless. So I, I basically made a very little tactics, not something I'm going to use because it's kind of what, and I'm like, I'm no expert, but it's kind of what, just roughly, it took me two minutes to build, what Ollie's currently using is sort of 4-2-4. Initially, the 4-2-4 in the game has these guys in central midfield, but I think the way Man United play at the moment is there's such a gap between these front four guys with only Fernandez that wants to press, okay, and the midfield, okay? None of these are Perlo-esque. This would work better if you had players in this position, like one guy that like a Perlo that can just ping passes, right? But they don't. They have McFred, right? So this is how roughly I see them playing. Way too disjointed and, like, in shape form. But in tactics-wise... Their pressing is, it's like lucky dip pressing. It's like they've heard of the concept of pressing and pressing means you run towards the ball, right? You're pressing, that's it, boom, let's go. It's as if Ollie searched for it on Wikipedia and was like, okay, I found the definition. We just have to run towards the guy with the ball and that's pressing. And But it seems pressing doesn't work if it's one guy. Let's take Fernandez because he seems to be the only attacking player Man United have that's willing to do the hard work, right? So this guy's pressing the goalkeeper or whatever. So the goalkeeper has to react quicker, right? He's like shit. Now, if you if this was against Man United uh, against Liverpool, who are, or City, one of the great pressing teams, this goalkeeper would have to find a pass quickly because this is coming onto him, and he'd look and he'd see that the other. Defenders are covered by other Liverpool or Man City players because they're pressing, they're, they're getting ready, they're intercepting the passing lanes and stuff like this. But poor fucking Fernandez closed down the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper's chill as fuck because there's two, three open defenders that he can just knock the ball to. So it doesn't work. It's better to not do that at all, in my opinion. It's better if you want to play a low block or you want to sit back, fine. Almost worst case scenario is you do that, but then random people at random times on their own will just go and clo headless chicken close down. Like you've all seen Andy Robertson do the headless chicken closing down, right? I think there's was it Champions League left back. He closes down. He closes down this guy. He ends up having a shot at the other end because he closes down some centre back. That's wouldn't be great if it was on its own. He's just running out of position. But the way Liverpool work and the other press and the other people pressing makes it work. So the two big things we've got to fix for this Manchester United side and the two areas are we either need to look to buy players that are going to be better at working harder and closing down and go to a full press system or something like that. Um, another problem is that 
which is nice to have. Man United have got really good attacking players. Like, I quite like Martial, and he doesn't even get a look in. He's probably going to get sold to Newcastle in January. I love Greenwood. I think Greenwood is going to become a world-class striker. But he's a striker, okay? But because you've got Cristiano Ronaldo, you're then... You have to play Cristiano Ronaldo. He's amazing, but it, it's he's limited, okay? I don't think that's an insult at all. He's 38, 36, whatever, right? He's amazing at what he does. Like, even that goal against Liverpool at the weekend that was offside. The way he just picks it up is like, knock it, go. And it's in the goal. And you're like, fucking hell. He's just in an instant, right? So I can totally get fine. I'm fine with playing him. But then you're trying to squeeze Greenwood into the squad because he's he's on decent form and he's a very good youngster. But he doesn't help any of the rest of the situation. He doesn't help with the pressing. He's not a fucking full press tracking back like a Mo Salah or whatever. He... He needs to be here. And I'm sure Greenwood will learn a lot from Ronaldo. It's like the perfect mentoring. And then in a year or two, when Ronaldo fucks off, Greenwood is probably going to take over and be... Cavani's going to be gone and going to be their main man. But right now, if you had to use this tactic, the obvious fix for this starting eleven is Sancho for Greenwood. Because these are all... Guys, Fernandez is a creator and a finisher, Okay. Fred's not a creator or a finisher. McTominay's not a creator or a finisher. Rashford's a finisher. Ronaldo's a finisher. Greenwood's a finisher. Now, you see the problem here. You've got this guy, who's also the guy doing all the running for the team, pretty much, is also the pretty much the only creator, apart from Shaw, who had a great spell last season, um, but it seems to be... I don't know. He just doesn't, doesn't seem to be bombing on as much this season. But, like... um. So you need a winger, you know, one of those creative. If you only you spent seventy five million on the perfect player to play in this system, so we can feed, we can play Rashford, we can play um, Greenwood in this left spot. Get him bombing on, help him Ronaldo, and have somebody that can ping balls in, that can find the pass, find Ronaldo, stuff like that. Immediately, we have two creative players instead of one. If I actually uh, swap him out, right? So that sort of fixes a little bit. And then obviously the pressing. Now, it's, it's difficult to replicate how Man United press. I guess in football manager terms... We would take this all the way down so it's no press, but then like go in here and start, okay, you, you're pressing, you're pressing, like picking the individual players. But we don't want to do that because we want to win games. We want to win the fucking league, right? So first things first, I want to try and not just build a whole new formation. I want to say, okay, let's, let's tweaks that we could make to the sort of roughly the current formation to make it work. So that's fine. Brings it all together closer. I think this is where Man United kind of should, or in Ollie's head, this is how the tactic looks. But in reality, when you watch them, and it's not so much that Fred and McTominay play really far back, but you, you just can't make it look right. It's more that these four are like, woo, they're up the pitch. You know, they're on the last man. You've got three guys on the last man. That's not how it, you're not going to score a load of goals by that. You don't have anybody to pass to if you've got Rashford, Ronaldo and Sand and Greenwood hanging off the last man wanting to get through because they're all strikers. You've got three strikers, three out and out strikers. Nobody's going to argue different to me that Rashford, Rashford is a striker in my head. Ronaldo's obviously a striker. Greenwood's a striker. So, OK, but next up, obviously, we need to talk about transfers. I don't want to do a massive rebuild because we're only doing one season and I want to keep it sort of realistic as to... That's why we're tweaking the original tactic, not just building a whole new tactic, which we'll continue to do. Finances. We've got 30 million. That's, ironically, that's fine. Um, <laughs> because they have a decent, uh, a big squad. And we can sell a couple of players. Um, somebody wants Matic. Real Madrid want Matic. Yes, 120 grand a week. So we'll sell, like, let's have a look. Let's have a look at some of the... The Deadwood. Don't need four goalkeepers. Phil Jones still exists as a human being. So there's there's my 3.4. <laughs> When's the last time you played a football game? Man, what a weird story that is. I'd, 
I don't, I don't uh, read footballers' autobiographies at all. I'm not interested. But Phil Jones, I'd be in. I'd be interested to hear his story. Uh, Twan Zebby's uh, Brandon Williams. We've probably got a few good youthies as well. But like we have all the attacking talent. We've still got Cavani for fuck's sake. We've got still got Martial, who we might cash in on. He is transfer listed initially. Okay. Uh, how how we've got one matter? I don't know. I, I'm sure he's good in the dressing room, etc. But you're paying him 135 grand a week. So I'm not sure if we'll be able to get rid of him, but uh, we'll try. Keep Paul Pogba. Keep Jesse Lingard as a decent option. Bruno Fernandes is very good. For... Donny van der Beek. He's like a new signing because he hasn't played any fucking football. Don't... Why he... I don't know if he'd shit on Ollie's doorstep or something, so he's not getting played. But Jesus. Ironically, McTorney... I, I, don't, I don't mind McTorney. I don't think Fred's very good, but I, I don't mind McTorney at all. He can be our ball-winning midfielder. He can go in our first team, and Fred can... How much is it for 120 grand a week? Fuck me, you overpay your players. Um, Fred can, like, oh, he's a playmaker. Hang on, he's only got 11 vision. Okay, he's a ball-winning midfielder. Okay, he's just, he's kind of nothing. But he'll do as a backup. Um, we've got Dalot as a backup to wan -Bissaka. We've got Tellez and Shaw, fine with that. We've got a great set of centre-backs now. It's all there. It's That's what I mean. This is not... Getting your head round is like it's Man United's team is really good, and I, you know, I'm a Liverpool fan, so this saying this is is uh, Shola Shorter. That's a good name, mate. <laughs> but yeah, so first things first, we want we're gonna keep it nice and simple. We're gonna play our defence, bit more width, short passing. We've got a good squad. We can dictate people. We can press people. We we can force ourselves on people in a footballing sense okay it's it's no we don't pass the base i'm gonna keep it really simple um and i wanna we're gonna press not just one or two random people we as a team are going to press so um i'll let i was, I was talking wondering about playing out of defence, and we do have some decent ball-playing centre-backs. I'm just going to let David Hare decide, because I, I don't mind the odd sort of ball over the top or long ball stuff, so we're going to go for a higher press. I'm, gonna keep the, I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not going to go full-on nuts. But I want the team to press. I'm going to counter, and then... Do we want to... I'll just leave that. Let's not go too crazy. I might, like... Eek it up. And this is like how I start tactics. I start tactics with very little thought to the finished article. I'm like, okay, here's the basics I want. And then I'll watch, I'll play a few games and go, okay, no, we need to tweak this. Right. As for roles, I don't know what Ronaldo is best at now. Is he just an advanced forward? Because he's still rapid. So we don't have to, he's old, but it doesn't matter that he's old because he's, he's, he's a machine. He was born in a test tube. Um, I think we just give him advanced forward. It's probably my favorite attacking role. So this position, uh, inside forwards I struggled with last year. But generally, I think we can keep the inside forward because, although not ideal, we Mason Greenwood, we've got um, Jesse Lingard as a backup. Paul Pogba can play there. And uh, what's his face? Who Jimmy Flip, the, uh, Mason Greenwood, Rashford, all good there. Bruno Fernandes picks himself. Paul Pogba can fill in as backup. We've got Sancho on the right-hand side. And then probably... Don't really want to play Fernando. Like Jesse Lingard would be his backup. Uh, he's not too bad. I don't mind Jesse Lingard. Um, we've got Matomale and Fred for this role. I'm not sure what role we're going to go with with the here yet. Um, I might actually go for a proper deep line playmaker because their ratings sucked last year in FM. So I'm interested. Somebody that's just going to spring a pass that can find these really quick, intelligent attacking players. Like it's not. It's not rockets. I, like, I'm not reinventing the wheel here, really. Now, we've got Luke Shaw. He's very good going forward. He provides a lot of goals. So we'll stick with how he was used last season, pretty much. Um, Varane is a ball-playing centre-back, right? All modern good centre-backs are pretty much ball-playing centre-backs. So let's, let's go for a double ball. Pl let's play with double balls. Then we've got Wan. 
If I had the money, I think this is where I'd upgrade next. I think. Um. Here's a question. I was going to ask, as as because we've got this new role of a wide centre back, but you can only use it in a three or five, right? What about a fullback role that's basically a wide centre back? Or it'll have to maybe have a different name. Like maybe fullback defender is just essentially a wide centre back. Let's keep it nice and simple on this front because we've got our whip from Jaden Sancho anyway, so he can be more of a careful pl uh, player. And then we've got a ball-winning midfielder here who can drop in as he bombs forward. Number 10s, I hate with a passion. I'd never get them to work, but we're going to stick with it because that's the thing. So Bruno Fernandes goes in here. So do we, do we want to play? Because hmm. do we play Pogba as our deep-line playmaker? Obviously, he's a very good passer. But where do we fit Pogba in? See, this is the, this is the problem Man United had. They've... they've Sucked up so many amazing players in the last few years. Like, you know, chasing Sancho for two years and then finally you get him and stuff. But it's like you've, it's like you're doing a pack opening on FIFA as opposed to building a squad of players that work together. You've signed a load of good players, but so many, like, I'm still, I'm sitting there going, well, how do I get, do I just play Pogba as a deep line playmaker? But maybe I feel like he's kind of, Almost wasted a little bit there. But maybe we play a wide player. Like, my first thought was Paul Pogba is a wide playmaker. But then, where does Rashford and Greenwood get their minutes? They don't get their minutes because you spent a shitload of wages and money on two old strikers. World-class strikers. But Cavani and Ronaldo... Oh. So I feel like one of these guys, Rashford or... Greenwood. <laughs> so Mason Greenwood could be our, I think he'll, he'll, Rash, one of those will be our main backup to Ronaldo up top. I guess the other will just be, I kind of really want to play Paul Pogba out here. Um, I can kind of, he can kind of, I know he's right footed, so he's not going to play him as a winger or anything. I think inside forward's a bit limited, and I think maybe an inverted winger. Or the wide playmaker. Let's go wide playmaker. He's got everything he needs for it. Like, he's got. Let's go for it. Let's try it. Pogs. <clears throat> and then we can keep Sancho on attack because he can now getting a few more positions to score goals. We've won plenty of goals coming from Fernandez. So we have lots of creativity now. Pogba's going to score a few, assist a load. Fernandez is going to do the same. Sancho's going to assist a load. Ronaldo's just going to finish them. We are building a team. I know this sounds like a crazy idea. We are building a team to support one of the best players that's ever played football. <laughs> like, oh, revelation, I know. It's... it's a, that's some that's some deep thinking that I've managed to pluck out. How about we just get really good players that are really good at giving the ball in good areas to good strikers? I fixed it. I get I, I get sacked. This I'm gonna get sacked, aren't I? This day. All right. So we get so and then we have McTominay in here. Popper can fill in as well because we'll hopefully just sign one of these. Luke Shaw. Uh, Varane, don't know which way around those go, we'll work it out later. Maguire, and then Rambasaka as a more defensive option. We only need to make one big signing, because like I said, Man United have a massive squad of really good players, so you don't need to do a lot. I feel like it's just that that gets it fixed. Right, okay, we are going to take a little break. I will edit in, you know, you, you won't take a break. I'm going to go and try and sign a player for Man United <laughs> and sell a few dregs. Matic, Ma Real Madrid, sweet ass. Um, so yeah, and then we'll come back and we'll play the first game of the season. <laughs> it's going to go bad. I, I feel like I've talked myself into a corner here, like, oh, this is mm, clearly how you fix it. You just do this, this, and this, and this, and this. Who's our first league game against? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Watford, yeah. yeah well, I'm not worried about who we play. We're going to smash it anyway. So yeah, I'll come back to you with a player. 
or two. So we have successfully completed our transfer window. Didn't get the right back I wanted. I almost did try and buy Sergio Biscuits and make him a right back for the lols, but he was not for sale. However, we did sign Marcello Brozovic for £43 million from Inter. He is pretty damn beastly. I, You know, we talked about pressing and we talked about legs and stamina and stuff. The guy has 20 stamina and 20 natural fitness. This guy is going to run for days. But not only is he a very good playmaker with things like 17 passing, 16 vision. He also has 16 tackling, 17 passing. So we could maybe make him a box-to-box -box midfielder or just see how it goes and stuff. But he's a beast. The other one I was looking at was... Um, what's his face? Jude Bellingham. Because obviously he's a wonder kid and stuff. But he would... They were looking to cost like 100 mil... 100 plus mil but 43 million is more realistic however there is something that is not realistic i think i've sold a bunch of players anthony marshall went to chelsea for 30 million a bunch of loanies phil jones has gone to uh, dynamo moscow one matter has gone on loan to leicester because they're really hard to sell i understand that these are hard to sell these are highly paid players that aren't very good right but for some reason I cannot sell Dean Henderson for love nor money. I offered him out to clubs for £1 million. And again, yes, I know he's on high, high money, but I'm, I, if you offered, if Man United offered Dean Henderson out to the world for a million pounds, he'd be sold in an instant. So I'm trying to loan him out because we've got David De Gea and we've got Tom Heaton. I can't tell he's just joined and... and I don't need another really good goalkeeper. I just need to play David De Gea. And because he's 24 as well, like maybe yeah, he could take over from David De Gea, but I'd rather have a goalkeeper that's 1920 that has five star potential that could go past David De Gea, not be as good as him. So we're trying to loan him out. I'll stick him in reserve. So he'll probably kick up a hissy fit. Okay. So we're going to try this. We're going to try. Another little clever tactic I used. I went over to Paul Popper and said, Hey, Pogba, sign this contact contract. And he was like, Cool. So that's so I've I've done the impossible and got Pogba to sign a contract. Okay, Fernandez is injured. Okay, so Sancho. So we could go Pogba as the I oof. I've gone, I've gone crazy, people. I'm actually going to give Donny van der Beek a game of football because <laughs> he's quite good at football, I think. Um, mm, mm, they're both right-footed, right? Okay. Um, right. Ooh, big Harry. I've, I've dragged it. I've dragged it. I'm having a mare. And uh, I was kind of tempted to do like a three at the back on one, like... And then make the last one. That, but I thought that would be crazy. Right. I don't like this tactic normally. I'm not a massive fan of the number 10. But I'm trying to sort of adapt and see how we get on. We are playing Watford. So I feel like we should just destroy them. We've got Lindelof. We've got Dallet. Uh, we've got Eric Bailly. We've got Fred. And then we've got Fernandez, we've got, uh, uh, we've got a few injuries, which is a bit shitty. Right. Okay, let's do it. After all the shit that I talked about. Because nobody wants you. Nobody wants you. Ronaldo, sort him out. Just look at him. There you go. Right. Like I said before. Okay, I'm not a tactic, tactic expert, but wh whether that be in real life or football manager, I'm not pretending to be some brilliant strategist. You should know that by now with my channel. But I think I've got a basic overview of what is going wrong. I think everybody with half a brain knows what's going wrong at Man United. It's just fixing it's the problem. So I'm trying to fix it in a more natural way that's like, hey, you know, let's fix it like we would... If it was real life, we wouldn't just sell seven players and then rebuild the whole squad. They've got a good squad. We're going to play positive football. 
We're going to get the boys to close down. A lovely turn. Like we've got ridiculous goals in us. <clears throat> and we want to keep... I'm going to keep an eye on... Uh, actually, Donny van der Beek. Because I always struggle with this number 10 position. It's a good ball in. Unlucky. Good ball. Good ball. It's a nice, easy game to... I think I know this will be a long video. I apologise, but I want to play this first game. We've got it on extended highlights. I want to see a bit more on the match engine. Sancho, lovely take. Oh, I love that little new animation with the turn. That's nice. For those that didn't know, Ben Foster, the goalkeeper for Watford, has his own YouTube channel. He posts a lot. He's a <laughs> I was going to say he's a full time YouTuber, but that's not obviously not true. But he loves a bit of. Oh, don't. The mighty Josh King, Bournemouth reject. Go on, Donny. Okay. It's a good ball. Ronaldo. He's going to shoot from there, isn't he? <laughs> I, I've, I've, it's an interesting discussion with Ronaldo. Nobody is arguing that Ronaldo is not a good player. I think it is a bad transfer. But... The problem with Man United have and their owners is their owners don't really care what happens to the club, like the team. Well, it don't care if it wins leagues. They don't care if it wears Champions Leagues. They care about making money, right? So it, as long as they're still making money, they're not. They're one of the biggest clubs in, arguably the biggest club in the world, making shit tons of money around the world, and yet don't win any football tournaments, cup competitions. Not in recent years. So they don't care. If only if that starts drying up, that it will be really shocked. So, in that front, Ronaldo makes really good, a lot of money wages, obviously, but makes from a PR standpoint, from a merch standpoint, from all, from just getting seen, being talked about, all incredibly valuable things. It's great. Live up for Man United. He's great. He's a, still a world class player. But you have to play towards him, right? You can't... Like, if you just chucked Ronaldo in our Liverpool squad, there'd be all sorts of weird shit happening and stuff, and then suddenly, uh, right at the top of the tree, the guy's not pressing. Like, you can't just buy the best players. It's not a FIFA pack opening with your mum's credit card. It's... You know, and that's why I think they shouldn't have bought him, personally. But, saying that, if I was a Man United fan, I'd be deliriously happy walking around with an erection for three weeks. Go on! Oh, it's Donny van der Beek! Oh, he's only gone and scored. <clears throat> if, if, like, Ronaldo was coming back to my club. You know, of course. So I get, I get, I see both sides. Right. Come on, boys. Donny van der Beek getting himself a goal. Brings one in. Ronaldo doesn't win the header. Wambasaka. Sancho. Oh, Donny's looking bright. This is like an alternative reality, reality where Donny van der Beek gets games. To be fair, that it's only because of an injury. So, <laughs> though all, although, to be fair, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, despite injuries, doesn't play Donny van der Beek. So, good to see Old Trafford doesn't have corners. In the stadium. Alright. Shaw's dead. What's wrong with him? Tom and A. Donny. Nice. Pogba's done well. Holds it up. Brozovic. That's what we want to see from him. Oh, Sancho's had a little. Alright. Dalot. Tellers is still out injured. That's okay. I don't know how like long term our if if this is the tactic we settle on for the season, whether it is a wide playmaker. I think I've got I've sold Cavani because we just don't need him. We're playing one up top. We've got Ronaldo. We've got Greenwood and Rashford. Like we have no need for Cavani. So it's like the problem we're gonna get is that Rashford and Greenwood are going to start kicking up a fuss about first-team football. And if, if we're trying to try to play sort of semi-realistic, we wouldn't want to lose those two guys, right? So eventually we might end up having to play 
an inside forward on the left. Just just to give those two some game time. <laughs> Come on, Sancho. I'm I'm loving I'm liking the match engine though. It flows really nicely. Great header from Pogba. Let's go. Goal and an assist. Sancho, there you go. We have already so much more creativity in this side. Putting Pogba further forward on the left. Putting Sancho, a winger, a supplier, if you will. <clears throat> You've got a guy in midfield that can actually ping passes. It's good. Oh, God, it's great. Oh, okay, yeah, Harry Maguire moments, right? You always want. Oh, this has got a corner. Okay, so I didn't know Old Trafford ha had one corner. <laughs> Uh, so why am I calling it Old Trafford? It's not Old Trafford. Watford Stadium has one corner. Wow, that's an unusual design. Just to stick on one. Could they only afford one corner? <laughs> how many, Watford fans, how many corners have you got on your stadium? It's a running gag on this channel. Uh, we've had lots of shots on target so far. That sounds like something Ollie would have, what would say. Um... If we've created loads, our scoreboard doesn't reflect it, does it? Because we've not scored that many. Yeah, keep it going. Just keep it going. Not really seen much of Ronaldo so far. What I could do is the ultimate betrayal and sell Ronaldo in January. <laughs> if he doesn't do it, I'm going to sell him. I have no affiliation with Ronaldo. If he, if he doesn't score a shit ton of goals, who would he go to? No, it's McTominay doing McTominay things. No, it's not in the box, is it, game? Come on. Not close. Oh, God, Mike Dean's... Was that in the box? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, okay. Can I... How do I go back on the? I never learn. I never do this to go back in the timeline. I never know how to do it. Right, hang on. I'm not live anymore. How do I get live? Oh God, I've broken it. We good? No, we good. That's just... okay. Um. Do we have any new panels here? Messy shot map. I like it. I really wish that Football Manager could make God, God boys, can make this screen more importantly in between highlight screen modular. Make it modular, please. Give us twenty things we can look at and resize the boxes and drag it across. Let us do. It can't. I feel like it's not difficult, and it's one of people's big complaints. There's so much. You've seen what people do with skins and how popular those skins are. So that so it must. Oh, he's so he fancies it. Wide playmaker target man. I feel like it's a no-brainer to. Um, go on then, Fred. See, this is fine. Having McTominay, I think I don't think he's a world-class player, but I think he's almost like a mini Henderson. He does a lot of things pretty well. Not outstanding and amazing and stuff, but I think he's a, a good player to have in your squad. Clearly cares about the club, has a heart, you know, that sort of stuff. But this is almost the perfect situation. You don't want to see Fred and McTominay on your team sheet. You want to see one, and maybe the other one can come on. Like, they, those two can have one position between them. Sancho charging down the wing again. He's found the ball across. Ronaldo. Absolutely bang average. <laughs> Actually, do you want to see our shot map? Because it's amazing. We've had 22 shots, 13 on target. And XG is only slightly better than Watford's. Because they had a penalty, so it's, it's kind of cheating. But who knew, Man United, you could you have the players to just go and dominate teams. Clearly. Go and fuck them up. Start playing weird counter-attacking because you're not sure how to do a pressing system. It's like a... I get Ronaldo not being able to press as much anymore just due to his age, right? But you can teach other people. These are all fit footballers. It's not as if like Rashford and Greenwood are like, nah, I'm not doing it, mate. I'm not running. 
I'm not running back there. These are fit fucking kids with a load of stamina. Show them how to press properly. They'll be fine. <laughs> oh my god! Well, Man United do technically have like the worst defence in the league, is it, at the moment? Interesting result. So this is very interesting. It, obviously it's Watford, not a very good side, but we've created so much. Scored three goals, perfect. Also, given away a stupid penalty and conceded another goal. Imagine if we don't win this. I'd be calling for Ollie to come back. Nice. God. I really do like some of these new animations, though. Some of these passing and turning animations, it, it it's, it's clean. It feels cleaner and a bit snappier. It feels like a you know a player turns and pingles one back to the goalkeeper. It looks like that. Don't concede. Let's go. Go on, Jesse. Fred. Boom. Big pass from Fred. Pogba. Sancho. Nobody where? Not behind him. Corner ball. We dangerous from corners. Ronaldo's a big fella, and he ran and slabbed. <laughs> it was that bad a corner. It was that bad. We can't show you. It's it's a. Uh, is this the equalizer? My subconscious is like, go on. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this kind of slightly different football manager. It's like you know, because it's this is a one season save. I thought, and I wanted to talk about Liverpool because uh, Man United, because and Man United fans will get this. My favourite thing in football is Liverpool Football Club. Supported them all my life, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? That's my favourite thing. My second favourite thing, other than like football manager, the video game, is hating Man United. It's my second favourite thing. And Man United fans will feel exactly the same. We all enjoy to revel in other in our rivals' misery. In a footballing sense, I'm not a fucking asshole. If I feel sorry for Ollie as a human being, you know, he's trying his best. But, you know, Man United fans will understand. I'm sure you, everybody that has a, like a team they hate, a rival team. But I do find them just very interesting. They're one of the most storied, historic football clubs in the world. They've got some crappy owners and they've got a crappy manager but they've bought a bunch of individually really good players. It's quite a fascinating system. They've got some old coaches and some new coaches. It's like they're still sort of finding finding their way back. Um, but there we go. Tactic is 100% perfect. You see all the shots we ignored the two weeks succeeded. Did you see all the shots we made? All the shots. Pogba on the left as a playmaker. Donny van der Beek banging in goals. No McFred. It's fixed, isn't it? I just need to upgrade one Bazaka. Right, there we go, my friends. If you did enjoy it, please do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications bell. This is just going to be a short beta save when the main game comes out, a few days after the main game comes out, when I've got everything I need. The journeyman will begin, which is the best save in the world. It's my favourite thing. And we're going to travel and see weird rules and go and buy houses in random Eastern European countries or wherever we end up. Um, yeah, so very excited for that. Also on Twitch, I'm going to be streaming on Wednesday and Thursday, some Darkest Dungeon 2, and then followed by when the full game releases, we'll be doing some Football Manager um, when the full game comes out. But yeah, please do support, like, follow me, come and say hello, jump in, hang out. It's all good fun. Man United fans, honest question. We have a bit of banter, obviously, Liverpool Man United fans. But like, honest question, what do you... Think of my... I'd be really fascinated to know your thoughts. I, like I said, I'm not pretending to be an expert. I've probably got a million things wrong or whatever. But that's how I see things. And I'd like to, you know, see if we're on the same page and stuff like that. And I quite enjoyed the whole football manager melding with real life chat about football. I was going to do Newcastle, but... Six million other people have also done Newcastle, so I didn't think I'd bother. Right, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.